Hi folks, uh, I've just got my watering system sorted out for the greenhouse and I'm looking about how I'm doing tubs. I might change them round. I'm just thinking about it now that I might, instead of having them a long while, I might turn them round on video. Um, I'd like to thank all new and old subscribers. Uh, I do appreciate your likes and your comments. And if you haven't got time to comment, stick a little smiley face and give us a thumbs up and know how busy you are. And I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll get on with it. It's nice to be nice. Oh, incidentally, I've just set my brooder up. Should have some hatchlings in maybe three days. So fingers crossed. Nice to be nice. <laughs> Here's something funny. Look, I've just come out of the greenhouse and there's water dripping off at Coil House roof. I'm looking up. It's not raining. <laughs> and that old pipe I used has failed. So I'm going to have to cut a piece. Oh, I'm getting wet through now. <laughs> Glad there were no washing out. I would have been in trouble. <laughs> so I'll be nicking some of that for a start. Damn. <laughs> Good lad. It's uh water my potatoes though. <laughs> So guys, I'm just filling these beds up, I'm going to set this watering system up. Um, I put 40 litres in each of these, these are 65 litre tubs, but I'm only going to go for 40 in them. And I've put some perlite in, I bought a big bag of perlite today. Last bag I had bought, but I think it was two or three years ago, might be two years ago. But that cost me 35 francs, whereas a 10 litre bag costs 7 francs. That's 100 litres, so it's like half price, you know what I mean? And it's always useful isn't it but yes I'm going to set this watering system but I bought some more connectors they're slightly different they're not from this kit but I'm assuming they should they should fit in I've put them uh, cucumbers in there I'm climbing up that there's three in each I'm not saying I'll keep all three but we'll see what happens they should be all right you know what I mean and I'm thinking like two tomatoes in each of these so I'll give me two, four, six, eight tomatoes. Got a couple of buckets here. I'll get another bucket there. Um, I'm thinking about me uh, peppers as well. I might actually put some some of that middle and have my peppers in middle because I it, in summertime it's it gets light, you know. I mean, what time is it now? It's, it's nearly four o'clock now, and it's it's still got light all the way across the top. Ugh. It's got soaking <laughs> bloody pipe but yeah so and say i'm thinking i might put some peppers there here 
in here that gives me four one two yeah four and i could also put some other tubs of these for tomatoes down the go don't know yet i've got another piece where i used to plant my tomatoes anyway that's under cover behind the uh, shed just there behind cherry tree so that's not like a huge problem i can plant another i'll get another six in there i think as i remember Go on, uh, yes, so this watering system, I'll show you it's go away, I'll uh, show you what it, what it consists of here. The extra fittings I bought. Now we're also thinking, um, I might put a plastic mulch over these and plant tomatoes through them. It'll also keep it, you know, nice and damp underground. I'll be thinking just using, them, using these bags, you know, and have it white side up. Split that and just black side down, white side up, plant my tomatoes through it. Now we're hoping that might help, uh, say with moisture and might keep, uh, well, I don't know how up the ground it's going to get with these black tubs, but it shouldn't be too bad. But as I say, it might help retain moisture. And I saw something on Neil's, uh, Neil's Homestead, I'm sure it was Neil's Homestead. I'll put a link. But they were doing their tomatoes, and when they grow them up, single stems, they lower them and spiral plant down to the ground so that you still so you can still carry on growing you know um rather than topping tomato plant itself i mean these if i have to i'll run them up and over i've got the beefs the beef tomatoes i'm going to put here this is like ice point i might move that tub and them around a little bit and so i have beefs the beef steaks going up to ice point on the apex on the roof what are your thoughts about that, putting a, 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 a plastic mulch on it? Just a thought on that would be interesting. Because I can run irrigation underneath that, obviously. But anyway, I'll get on with this and see what I can get on. We'll see, if, see how it works out. So guys, I've just about got this water system sorted out. You have to adjust all these taps up. I've got to set them up a little, a little bit better. You adjust them so that you're getting flow all the way through. These are not from this system they're supposed to spray but they don't they drip but that's all right i've just put a stopwatch on here um it's about two minutes in it says 121 but it's it's definitely two minutes because i didn't start <laughs> stopwatch but um i'm gonna see how much water it puts out in say five minutes and then it'll give me an idea on how long it needs to be on and how many times a day now obviously these are all dripping at a different rate, slightly, but I can turn them up or down. But like I say, I've got to uh, make sure I'm getting water all the way to the other end. See that one sprays almost. off almost but it's working might end up putting a second one in there um, these um, cucumbers incidental I don't know whether I'll keep all three in each tub might just keep two or keep strongest you know what I mean put that up to train them up it's nice and cold today. Well, even flaps are down. It's been very hot. I can tighten them down as well. These are all quite adjustable. And before I plant anything anyway, I'll wet these beds right up. They've been watered regular. 
These have been watered regular, but I'll wet these beds right up. So that's the same four minutes now. So I would say, I'll have a look at that. That's about how much they're getting in four minutes a minute. I just thought I had to show you this. I've never seen so many flowers on it. It's quite amazing. I'd say I didn't do a winter prune last year because I didn't know whether I were going to bin it. It still might end up being took out, see what it produces like this year. If, if it sets that many apples, I'm going to have to take uh, about two thirds of them off anyway. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> 